Hi, we are here in the northwest of England in the Delamere Forest, the beautiful woodland surrounding me. To give you a brief insight into the world of fungi. As many of you will know, mushrooms are actually fungi. They're not animals, they're not plants, they're somewhere in between. If you look at the universe as a whole, the universe is a harmonious balance between creation, sustenance and its eventual dissolution. Fungi do not contain chlorophyll and therefore cannot photosynthesize. So as a consequence, they get their nutrients by digesting externally. They secrete enzymes which can digest uh, organic matter and this is a major part of what, what of the benefits fungi have for a woodland. Here in Delamere Forest, the best season to come and see fungi probably is autumn when the fruiting bodies uh, arrive and you would see quite a range of mushrooms uh, during the season. The main part of the fungi are actually under uh, the ground and exist as a complex network uh, of uh, fibers or hyphae called the mycelium. So fungi have many applications. Some of the mushrooms have been used as food products from time immemorial. And of course there are dangers too in terms of ingesting it. So. Uh, one has to be very careful in terms of identifying it because many of the common fungi may have dangerous lookalikes. Some of the mushrooms have been used for some of the substances which have various actions on the human body and therefore they have the potential to become powerful medicines. By and large, the full potential of fungi is probably still not explored particularly for its pharmaceutical properties. More work needs to be done and it's, it's really re uh, reassuring to know that there are many academic groups, many universities, many pharmaceutical companies who are now paying a renewed sense of interest in the potential of mushrooms in human health. My research focuses on drug discovery in malaria and one of the big sources of drugs for malaria has been natural products. In fact, uh, past drugs, including quinine, chloroquine, and artemisinin, are from natural product sources. So in that respect, fungi uh, are likely to produce a rich source of uh, interesting molecules for drug discovery. Fungi secrete enzymes which uh, externally digest uh, organic material. And this is very important for any forest or, uh, ecosystem. The digested components are, are absorbed by the fungi themselves, but also made available for the circle of life to continue and for homeostasis in a forest to be established. So what, are, what can we do to ensure that the woodlands uh, and the fungal diversity uh, is maintained? Of course, fungi are dependent on the organic material, are dependent on the trees around. So maintaining the forest cover is absolutely critical. In addition to its waste disposal function, fungi are known to also have um, close associ associations with the root systems of trees and uh, there are mutually beneficial exchange of nutrients. It's called symbiosis. So maintaining the integrity of our woodland forest is very important to also ensure that the fungi are, um, are in good health. So the next time you walk around with the woodland, look around, Make sure that you appreciate these different life forms. Most importantly, respect them. Most importantly, realize 
that the beauty of the woodland that surrounds you is intimately and inseparably linked to these little life forms that you see on the, ro on the roadside.